What is dolomite? Dolomite is an anhydrous carbonate mineral composed of calcium magnesium carbonate. The term is also used for a sedimentary carbonate rock composed mostly of the mineral dolomite. An alternative name sometimes used for the dolomitic rock type is dolostone. Most probably the mineral dolomite was first described by Carl Linnaeus in 1768. In 1791, it was described as a rock by the French naturalist and geologist Diodet Gretet de Dolomue, 1750-1801, first in buildings of the old city of Rome, and later as samples collected in the mountains now known as the Dolomite Alps of northern Italy. Nicolas Theodore de Saussure first named the mineral, after Dolomue, in March 1792. Properties of Dolomite The mineral Dolomite crystallizes in the trigonal rhombohedral system. It forms white, tan, gray, or pink crystals. Dolomite is a double carbonate, having an alternating structural arrangement of calcium and magnesium ions. Unless it is in fine powder form, it does not rapidly dissolve or effervesce, fizz, in cold dilute hydrochloric acid as calcite does. Crystal twinning is common. Solid solution exists between dolomite, the iron dominant ankrite, and the manganese dominant kutnohorite. Small amounts of iron in the structure give the crystals a yellow to brown tint. Manganese substitutes in the structure also up to about 3% MnO. A high manganese content gives the crystals a rosy pink color. Lead, zinc, and cobalt also substitute in the structure for magnesium. Because dolomite can be dissolved by slightly acidic water, areas of dolomite are important as aquifers and contribute to karst terrain formation. Chemical composition, ferrous iron commonly substitutes for some of the magnesium in dolomite, and a complete series very likely extends between dolomite and ankrite. Manganese also substitutes for magnesium, but typically only to the extent of a few percent and in most cases only along with iron. Other cations known to substitute albeit in only relatively minor amounts within the dolomite structure are barium and lead for calcium and zinc and cobalt for magnesium. Nearly all the natural elements have been recorded as present in at least trace quantities in dolostones. It is, however, unclear which ones actually occur in the dolomite, some of them may occur within other mineral constituents of the analyzed rocks. Indeed, only a few of these elements, example strontium, rubidium, boron, and uranium, U, are known definitely to occur within the dolomite structure. Uses of dolomite Dolomite is used as an ornamental stone, a concrete aggregate, and a source of magnesium oxide, as well as in the pigeon process for the production of magnesium. It is an important petroleum reservoir rock, and serves as the host rock for large strata bound Mississippi Valley type MVT, or deposits of base metals such as lead, zinc, and copper. Where calcite limestone is uncommon or too costly, dolomite is sometimes used in its place as a flux for the smelting of iron and steel. Large quantities of processed dolomite are used in the production of float glass. In horticulture, dolomite and dolomitic limestone are added to soils and soilless potting mixes as a pH buffer and as a magnesium source. Dolomite is also used as the substrate in marine, saltwater, aquariums to help buffer changes in the pH of the water. Calcined dolomite is also used as a catalyst for destruction of tar in the gasification of biomass at high temperature. Particle physics researchers like to build particle detectors under layers of dolomite to enable the detectors to detect the highest possible number of exotic particles. Because dolomite contains relatively minor quantities of radioactive materials, it can insulate against interference from cosmic rays without adding to background radiation levels. In addition to being an industrial mineral, dolomite is highly valued by collectors and museums when it forms large, transparent crystals. The specimens that appear in the magnesite quarry exploited in Yucui, Estarabar, Navarra, Spain, are considered among the best in the world. Here in the Philippines, the DENR has started mobilizing a fleet of earth movers and other heavy equipment and started pouring what looked to be white sand, similar to that of popular beach destination Boracay, on a 500-meter stretch of the bay's naturally gray shoreline in Manila, near the Baywell.
K-Strip along Roxas Boulevard. The project is part of the Manila Bay Rehabilitation Program launched by Environment Secretary Roy Simitu in January 2019 to save the bay from decades of pollution and urban blight, as ordered by the Supreme Court. The said project is estimated to cost around P397.9 million, according to the Department of Public Works and Highways for the Beach Nourishment, Coastal Restoration and Enhancement of the Manila Baywalk Area.